Hi, everyone. My name is Daniel Perley, and I'm a staff member at the Astrophysics Research Institute at Liverpool John Moores University. I'm here today to tell you about a recent interesting transient that was discovered by the Zwicky Transient Facility, and which was followed up in detail by me and uh, many other members of the collaboration. This transient was called AT2020XND and was the subject of a recent paper that was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. You can download the paper either on archive at the link on the left or at the MNRES website at the link on the right. The story of this paper starts actually not with the transient that we discovered, but with a different transient several years prior called AT2018 cow or the cow for short. This transient showed a number of properties that were rare or even unprecedented at the time. It was extremely bright with a maximum magnitude of about negative 20. It was extremely fast, both to rise. It took only two days from explosion to reach that peak magnitude and faded away almost as quickly. It remained very hot at very high temperatures, even well after the peak, remaining at temperatures well above 10,000 Kelvin for several weeks. It produced no broad lines indicative of production of significant radioactive elements at late times, which is also very unusual for the explosion of a massive star. And it was also a powerful radio and X-ray emitter, evidence that had produced an extremely energetic shock in a very dense circumstellar environment. These properties had never been seen together. And since the discovery of this object, there have been dozens of papers published trying to understand exactly what it is, ranging from interpreting it as a tidal disruption event to the explosion of a massive star to a failed collapse of uh, a star. Several events with some of the same properties have been found before AT2018 cow and after, but none of them have shown all of the same properties. For example, this event, which we also discovered within the Zwicky Transient Facility called ZTF 18 ABV KWLA, or the koala for short, was very bright at peak, was very fast to rise, was moderately fast to fall and was a powerful radio emitter. But the other features, in particular, the lack of nickel production based on the late time luminosity could not be uh, determined for this object because we did not realize exactly what it was quickly enough to conduct a search. The subject of this paper was the first event similar to AT2018 cow, which we did discover in real time and were able to conduct all of the follow up that was needed. This event was found in October of 2020 by the Zeki Transient Facility, the discovery image from a website that was created by Anna Ho and Yuhan, La Yuhan Yao is shown here, in which there was, was no excess in flux for several days leading up to the transient, and then suddenly a very blue and very bright source uh, appeared. We acquired follow-up imaging with the Liverpool Telescope and discovered a blue uh, transient coincident with what was shown in catalog imaging to be a faint, potentially high ridge of galaxy and therefore be very luminous. The official name of this object is AT2020 XND, but in the spirit of the cow and the koala, we have nicknamed it the camel based on its CTF name, CTF20ACIGMEL. The case that this was similar to AT2018 cow was cinched when we were able to acquire a spectrum at Keck. The spectrum is largely featureless, much like AT2018 cow was at peak and much like the koala was at peak, but critically, it showed a series of narrow absorption lines that pinned down the redshift as about 0.24, quite distant and therefore quite luminous. Furthermore, the spectral shape showed the same sort of broad, unidentified features in the blue that were also seen in AT2018 cow. This led us to be fairly confident that we had indeed found a similar type of object. We conducted a late time follow up campaign by acquiring repeated imaging, both at the Liverpool telescope with the Palomar 60 inch telescope, with the APESTO project using uh, the new technology telescope in Chile, and finally with a very large telescope. The light curve of this event was remarkably similar to 1820 Team Cal. The lines here show 2018 Cal, the dots show AT2020 XND, and as you can see, they very nearly lie along each other. The fast fading, the high temperature shown by the blue color at late times, and the lack of radioactive nucleosynthesis are all common features between the cow and this transient as well. We also followed it up in the x-rays and the radio, which is a subject of a separate paper being published by uh, Anna Ho. So based on this, we conclude that, in fact, all of the interesting key features of AT2018 cow are indeed also seen in other transients, at least sometimes. The bright peak magnitude, the very fast rise to peak, the high temperature after peak, the lack of a broadline supernova that indicates a limited amount of radioactive nickel production, and the powerful radio and x-ray emission are all common to uh, at least these two transients and probably are indicative that this is a broader class of events. 
furthermore, by studying the nature of the galaxy that this event and the other events similar to it that have been discovered so far, we conclude that most of these events do originate from dwarf galaxies uh, comparable to the Magellanic clouds and occasionally even smaller, similar to gamma ray bursts and superluminous supernova, which might be a clue that these are indeed coming from a rare type of massive star that has undergone a significant amount of mass loss during its life and has produced a central engine explaining the X-ray emission, the radio emission. However, many narrow mysteries do remain to be solved about exactly what these are. Our favorite interpretation is that these are representing failed collapses of massive stars directly to a black hole, which then produces a jet, but the story is not yet uh, certain. Regardless of the nature of this object, we hope to be finding many more in the next few years with the Zwicky Transient Facility. So stay tuned to see what we uncover in the coming years.